Well, let's start with the first question. What do you think is the biggest challenge for policymakers in cyberspace? Uh, I think uh, the biggest uh, challenge for policymakers is avoid uh, cyberspace becoming just another power political instrument in the in, in the hands of the great powers in particular, because there would be an, uh, a good possibility to, for cyberspace to form a more joint agenda for, for uh, international actors, states and non-state non actors alike. Uh, there are a lot of uh, joint challenges that need to be addressed, technological as well as uh, political norms needed, but it looks like that in this kind of, an, of a political environment where we are living, the risk uh, is quite big that this will be another instrument of power politics be used by, by state actors uh, for the promotion of their own interests. And what do you think is there about cyberspace that makes it such an attractive instrument for countries or non-state actors, including as part of the non-hybrid uh, hybrid operations? Uh, there are many assets uh, that cyberspace has when we uh, analyze it as, as a power political instrument. It's a cost-efficient instrument. Uh, the need for manpower or, or resources uh, uh, is not that large to, to, in comparison with other, other state instruments. Uh, it's very uh, difficult to detect uh, who is behind a cyber attack or, or campaign of, uh, of, of some type. Uh, also, state actors uh, cooperate with non-state actors, which makes it even more difficult to attribute a certain uh, uh, act, act or a aggression uh, attack uh, in cyberspace. Yes, link it with a certain actor. Um, it is also an amplifier, as we, we tend to stress. It is used in, in concert with other means. And, and in, in that way it can also uh, enhance uh, the effects. So, so from the point of view of the actor behind it, it improves uh, the result. So if we think about cyberspace and all the malicious activities that are taking place, what does it really tell us about the future of conflict and the direction in which the interstate relations are moving? Well, we have an, a new dimension that is being used uh, that means that, uh, and that is cost efficient, so perhaps uh, the threshold of, of using it for aggre aggression, uh, malicious behavior is lower. Uh, so, so this is one of the conclusions we can draw, draw that, that the threshold of conflicts gets, uh, is, 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 is lower. We see also uh, more and more conflicts uh, uh, that have uh, that are very complex, that have multiple dimensions in them. We might see the, the cyber element, we might see some more tra traditional, conventional elements, so, so to be used in concert with, with other means. Uh, so what we can uh, stress is, is that there is a huge need uh, to improve the means for conflict prevention, mm -hmm. also for state actors to enhance their, their resilience, uh, and, and also more and more uh, co cooperation needed uh, between states mm -hmm. to, to address these challenges uh, together rather than uh, make uh, the cyberspace as another uh, amplifier of confrontation. Great, thank you very much. Yeah.